Hey guys, thanks for coming back to Cal's River Restoration. This is Sarah and I'm going to walk you through how I refinished this super fun antique buffet. I started off by sanding down the top with a 120 grit sandpaper. I didn't sand too heavy because I don't want to go completely through my wood and thrash it. It's just enough to get that finish off. So I went over the entire top with that 120. It came off pretty good because it's an old piece and the finish was already pretty destroyed at this point after that i went over it with a 220 just to buff it out and make it nice and smooth and ready for stain of course after i went through and buffed it you need to wipe it off and then i need to glue a leg back on to sturdy that up so i let that sit and dry um, when you put the glue on it's going to come out around the edges that's a good sign it means you've got enough glue on it once that's dried, I went through and wiped the whole thing down again because I want to have a nice clean surface before I paint and stain. Do remember that when you're using that wood glue that you wipe off all the excess glue that drips out. I mean, you can sand it off if it drips, which is easy peasy, but just wipe it off with like a paper towel. So this is the stain I used. I believe it was an English chestnut. Um, I just poured and wiped it on and poured and wiped it on super easy after I had the entire top covered with the English chestnut I did a dry brushing technique with this uh, rust-oleum paint it's flat black it kind of goes on a little more satin than flat but that's okay because I'm gonna go ahead and put on a top coat anyways so it'll all have the same finish but basically when I'm dry brushing is I get a small amount on the ends of my bristles and then I wipe and brush and wipe and brush and I use a towel to wipe it off. Um, I tried a couple different techniques this time so that it would have a little bit of a different pattern on it. I'm really happy with how the top turned out. I think it looks really cool. Uh, so that's what I did with my dry brushing and my staining. Correction, the stain that I used is honey. Not English chestnut, honey. Honey stain, flat black Rust-Oleum paint for my dry brushing. Once I've got the pattern that I like on the top, you've gotta let it dry. Fortunately, with dry brushing, it dries pretty quick because it's not a thick layer of paint. So you could probably give it about an hour or so and it's ready for a top coat. The top coat that I used was by Verithane. I used a satin. I typically prefer a matte, but satin is what I had on hand, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, I used a satin, it went on really easy. I did two coats of satin because I wanted to have a really sturdy finish. I do realize that I should have stood behind this buffet to put on my poly finish rather than mooning the camera, but I'm still learning, so enjoy. After that, I went ahead and went over the entire bottom with my flat black Rust-Oleum paint. I did two coats and then I did another touch up with the same paint. Obviously you're going to touch up with the same paint. So typically I will do a primer, but this time because I knew I was going to kind of sand it and I sort of wanted a little bit of a shabby feel, I went ahead and just used the same paint. Plus I was running out of it anyway. So I figured whatever, I'm just going to use the whole can and knock this thing out. So I did two coats plus a touch-up coat of flat black Rust-Oleum paint on the whole base and I cut in around the edges of the top. I'm using a cheap angle brush that I picked up at the Home Depot to apply this paint. It's great for all the cutting in around the top, but I also used it on the bottom. Then I went ahead and sanded around all the edges with a 220. Then I switched to a one. 50 because I wanted something with a little more grip because I felt like it was taking forever. I also want to mention that when I was putting on my poly on the very top, I used a sponge brush that I also picked up at the local Home Depot. They're super cheap and you can get a couple uses out of them before you need to throw them away. But if I forget to wash my paintbrush, I'm not going to be kicking myself because I spent a million dollars on it. 
So after I went through and got it all sanded around the edges and that look that I liked, I got to clean it. So I vacuumed it and wiped it down. But then I used a soft touch furniture wax to seal the base. And I just lightly brushed that on all over with my wax brush that I picked up off of Amazon.com. The soft touch furniture wax sealer that I'm using is made by Minwax. I've had really good results with it. It's turned out to be incredibly durable. So yay for affordable furniture wax that kicks butt. After it's all done and it's cured for a little bit, put that hardware on, stage it up, and it's ready for the marketplace. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.